Hurricanes aren't new to the Gulf Coast of Texas. When our last major hurricane, Ike, hit Houston, it was catastrophic. But that was in 2008. Long enough ago that some experts believe we are due for another major hurricane. Some say it's not a question of if, but when. The Texas Division of Emergency Management considers worst case scenarios, such as a major hurricane, and makes sure the state plans, trains, and exercises for them. In order to exercise or test the local, regional, and state plans for evacuating people from the path of a hurricane, the state needs a large number of volunteers. In fact, the success of any exercise depends in large part on volunteer participation. Volunteers provide valuable feedback based on their experience during the exercise. Their feedback is used to develop and refine the state's preparedness planning and training. The state needs volunteers from the whole community of those likely to be affected, young, old, healthy, disabled, including those with durable medical equipment. Even pets are welcome. The exercise will occur over nine days with ample volunteer opportunities. Volunteers are needed for one or more days. During the two-day commitment, volunteer evacuees will meet at an embarkation hub or predetermined location. There, they are registered into the Texas Emergency Tracking Network and assigned to a bus. Then they are transported to designated evacuation shelters located safely inland. Out the shelter, they are fed and given a place to sleep. The following morning, volunteers are transported back to the embarkation hub. One can also volunteer to be an evacuee just at an embarkation hub or just at a shelter. In either case, the volunteer will not be transported on an evacuation bus. Volunteering is an exciting and unforgettable experience. You'll meet interesting people from throughout the region. It's also a great way to support your region's preparedness, as well as the state's preparedness. The state's Division of Emergency Management provides volunteers with a certificate thanking them for their service. Finally, you'll be helping yourself, your loved ones, and your community be better prepared for the next major hurricane headed for Texas. For more information on how to volunteer, go to preparingtexas.org or click on the link in the description below this video.